Why don't you join me and have a seat over here by, by the fire? Oh. By the fire. Well, that's good of you. Come on, mister. Take the load off. The fire's real warm. <laughs> <laughs> Bone dry. Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. <sighs> Here. Hmm. Hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're... You're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh-uh. -uh. It's what you did. Sticks around. I know the feeling. Uh, I was a, a young man then. But you ain't walk here. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? 
Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dodge without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry, making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. on this ridge. Whoa! They should be here in a little bit, old tide. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah.
you getting on? How long does it take? Next time, I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Here, buy a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this shit. Now we're being robbed. Get across the river. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! You've got a point. Thank you. 
Saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. Go on then. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun! Come on, the girl.
Hey, stop! No, no, wait! No, no, stay here! Whoa, now. You're okay. Hey, wait, where are you going? Okay, easy. Stay there. Hey. It's okay. and easy. Wait, no, no, stay here. Hey, wait, where are you going? Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, come back. You're good. Go oh, easy. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? Okay. Hey there! Look out! Go on. Idiot. What the hell's your problem? It's all good. Calm down. You want to see what I'm doing with a chair? You're getting robbed, so slow up there. What's the damn hold up? Is that worth fighting over? Thank <laughs> you. 
dumbass. Good to see you back, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. How you doing? Good, brother. How are you feeling? Much better. Thought those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. You never got us that oil wagon, did you? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I clean forgot. Well, don't worry. It's taken care of. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Thank you. You're still interested in the job, ain't you? Yes, but, uh, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. You can meet us at the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. See, Arthur? Even you make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes. Hello? My husband owes you money. Here it is. Thank you. And your husband, is he well? He's dead. Combination of beatings and sickness did for him. My deepest condolences, madam. And mine to you. For all your wretched lives. I couldn't be in finer fiddle. How are you? I can't say I'm doing too well. Ah, well. Leave some for the rest of us, old man. Damn drunkard! I got no idea. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, girl. Alright. Let's go then. So, where are we going? 
Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? There we go. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I like the look of that spot. Got one, Jack. This one's a chain picker. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. Hey, look at 
this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> there you are! How you boys getting on? Great! We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty. Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. 
They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived their mountains. We just need to stay calm. <laughs> 